What's up, ACL Nation? We are going to have one of the Crew Cup World Champions, Brandon Corwin, on the show this week, as well as discuss the first ACL Open event of the season. This is the ACL Throwdown. Yes, Cornhole Nation. Like I said, we are going to have Brandon Corwin on the show. He's going to talk about what it's like to be a world champion in that Crew Cup division. But first, let's get to my hashtag, Trey's Takes. And this week, we need to talk about the first ACL Open of the season. Taking a step back, there are three main events at the ACL national scale this season. Two of them reserved for only ACL pros and one of them for the general public. ACL pros exclusively can compete in ACL national events, which will be televised on ESPN networks, as well as the pro shootout events, which will gain entry into the ACL pro shootout, formerly known as the ACL pro invitational at the end of the season. But for those of you that are not ACL pros that want to compete at the highest level, ACL open events have replaced nationals for the general public. We only had four nationals last season, and since the demand was so high and they were sold out, even the ones that were canceled by COVID-19, we decided to up the ante and bring you more open to the public events. That's why we are bringing a minimum of eight ACL open events to the ACL circuit this season. Anybody can join and play these events and they're limited to only 64 ACL pros per event. So you're gonna get some great competition. They are also the best way to help qualify for the 2021-2022 ACL Pro Division. Finishing in the top 24 of ACL Open standings will guarantee you a spot in that division. ACL Open standings counting your one best open in both singles and doubles, as well as your two best conference or state events, your five best regional events, and 10 best local events. So what is an open event? They're gonna have somewhat of a similar structure to our national events from last season with one major twist. And that is on day one or on Friday for this first event, we are gonna be hosting what we call ACL Rounders. It is a progressive round robin tournament. What that means is you'll compete alongside your partner in doubles and however you finish each game will determine your opponent for the following game. So if you go one and oh, more than likely the next game you'll play another one and oh opponent. If you go 0-4, oh um, more than likely your fifth game, you're probably going to play someone else that's 0-4 or, or maybe 1-3. So you're playing teams with similar record throughout each round. Based on your performance in ACL rounders, you'll be seated into one of four brackets for both singles and doubles. Level number one, your top of the tier players, those players that are probably going to go 6-0, and 5-1, and one, those players are going to be competing in a bracket themselves in both singles and in, in doubles. Singles will happen on day two and doubles will happen on day three. There'll be double elimination brackets just like we featured at the national events last season, but this time that seeded ACL rounders event really helps to, uh, to distinguish who the best of the best are on that particular day. So the first ACL Open event of the year, we are heading to West Dundee, Illinois. First Open of the year, it's gonna be at the Light Zone 360, a beautiful state-of-the-art facility. It's gonna be Friday, October 23rd through Sunday, October 25th. Again, on that Friday, we'll be doing seniors, women's, and blind draws in the morning on that first day, and then the afternoon is when we'll be doing our rounders events. Then from there, uh, Saturday will be singles day. We'll stagger the different times based on which bracket you qualify into. And then on Sunday will be our doubles day where again, we're gonna stagger our different times. It's gonna be a fantastic event. Registration is already open for platinum members and it opens tomorrow, Friday for the general public at app.iplayacl.com. So you wanna make sure that you're registering. It's $100 per person and that gets you entry both into singles and in doubles and that rounders event. So, so much to play. It's going to be an incredible week, our weekend. And again, it's just the first of eight opens throughout the entire season. So you're going to have plenty of opportunities to play and compete 
to get into that pro division next season. I know many of you are looking for a schedule for the rest of the year. We are working on that within the next week and a half, two weeks. We should have about 80% of the entire schedule done for the year and just saving some of our summer events to plan ahead. But at least the schedule through October through April or so will be completely finalized here in the next two weeks. So look forward to that. Let's get to my conversation with ACL Pro and world champion Brandon Corwin to see how jacked up he is to be called a world champion. ACL Nation, I have a Crew Cup world champion, ACL Pro Brandon Corwin on the show this week. Brandon, man, uh, uh, man, thanks for coming on. I feel like I we we I think we did this once before, but how, how are we feeling, man? How are we feeling? Dude, I'm excited. What do you mean? How am I feeling? <laughs> I love it. Yeah, yo. Card, bro. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, you do have your own tops card. So actually, let's. That's a perfect. That's a perfect lead in. So what's it? What was it like when you got that card in the mail and you put your hands on it and you're like, I'm on a tops card. I mean, this is gonna be kind of cool, right? Oh man, I, I'll tell you this. It took a long dang on time, but it came. When it came, I was headed to work and I was opening it while I was driving. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool you know on your own tops card because you are a world champion crew cup world champions playing alongside partner Devin Harbaugh as well as Ryan Windsor and Isidro Herrera you know what was it you know just kind of walk me through that a little bit what was it like um to to to, to be a world champion in a division and, and one like crew cup that's kind of that that team feel of an event yeah, um, <laughs> I guess there is no real way to describe it, man. Um, you know, I, I've got some of the best player, or the best players on my team. How? I don't know. Ask the world because I don't know either. I appreciate you too, by the way. But uh, man, it's amazing. Like it, it's the coolest thing I've ever experienced. You know, you know, growing up, you always think about uh, the the possibility of possibly getting on a tots card or playing, you know, my, my was playing baseball and I was decent at it, but never thought it would get to this point by no means, man. And, and I mean, the performance, I mean, like it, obviously, you know, you're playing with Devin, but on the other end, you got like, I mean, you got Ryan Windsor, who's number two player in the world. And then Isidro Herrera, you know, them two have, have done really well, but, when I watched you, whether it was in doubles or in crew cup, you just wouldn't miss on that big stage. I mean, you, you were not missing. And then what's so funny to me is I, I wanted to bring this up. is like, we kind of, uh, you know, labeled you as someone that kind of got nervous on the big stage at the beginning of 2019. And you have just done a complete 180. What, what's the difference? Is there anything different or is it just experience? I think it pissed me off. <laughs> you know, I, it, honestly, uh, it, it comes with a lot of experience, man. You know, I've, I've been playing the dang old game for over freaking 12, 13 years. But when it comes down to being on TV, a national television channel uh, with cameras in your face, and I can hear you in the background say, oh, Brandon Corwin's about to shoot this. And I'm like, All right. Man. <laughs> that's what got me the first couple yeah. of hearing you in the background i'm like oh man dang it. and uh so you know what I, I i developed something to say focus focus put them blinders on don't worry about anything else you have to worry about what's going on in front of you don't worry about anything else it's you and the partner you and the board whatever yeah, and you know, and and I think you've developed into a fantastic player. And I'd almost classify you as there's there's only a few of you out there. But whatever reason, you just seem to be such a fantastic doubles player. I don't know yeah. what it is, but you know, when you get on the boards in doubles, and it's not that you're any slouch as a singles player, but you just flip it on. Is that? Is it partly because it's kind of a team sport? You growing up playing team sports? I mean, what's different about doubles that, that makes you kind of bring your A game? That's a good question. I've been struggling with that for a long time. I guess I'm not struggling with it. I'm happy that I'm, that I'm able to perform like I am with my partner. And uh, 
you know, the biggest thing about it is I don't like letting down anybody. You know, I mean, I don't care who it is, and I'm sure everybody else feels the same way. There's a lot of people who say, hey, you know, I, I don't care about you. I, I'm, I'm going to go out here for the singles, but I can't do that, man. That's just not me. Um, <laughs> I've been struggling for a long time with the singles. And like you said, I'm no slouch, man. And, and you know, when I turn it up, you know, I, I can hang with the best of everybody out there. There's, there's no doubt in my mind. And they know that just as well as I do. So um, it's, uh, I will say that the last couple of years has been, has been a challenge for me just because I started a new job and um, I, I don't have nearly enough time to be able to be out in the backyard like I used to. Uh, it's, it sounds like an excuse, but it, Honestly, it really isn't because when I'm out on the boards, uh, I have muscle memory. We talked about this last interview, right? So now I don't have nearly the muscle memory that I had before. You know, now it's just all this. It's like, hey, 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 you got to make yeah. sure you do this. You got to do this every time. And it, it's hard to do that for me through, you know, three or four day events, you know, I've got to, it's almost like I have to pick or choose which ones I'm going to do. <laughs> right. And I let it down. So, you know, uh, if it's going to be somebody, it's going to be me that I'm going to let down, you know, and uh, I don't think it's going to be like that for long. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to ramp it up here. Oh, I got all the faith in the world in you. There, there, there's, there, you got, you got a great skill set and uh, you, you talked about the team, team aspect of it, you know, doubles play, playing with, with Devin Harbaugh last year and rolling that partnership into this coming season. And so I knew that was a relatively fresh partnership. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think you two knew each other that well prior to this, this season. But, you know, I felt like the chemistry there was almost instantaneous. Uh, you guys, I felt like you threw somewhat similar bags and, and also – you know, your personalities really bounced off each other really well. What was it like playing with, with Devin this past season? Hey, he's a freaking beast. What do you mean? It's awesome. <laughs> if I ask me how I keep getting all these good players, I'm like, man, I wish I knew. I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I tell you what, man, it, the kid is amazing. Everybody's seen it. Um, he's only getting better. Um, and, you know, the, like you said, just the, the, the start of the year, fresh. We've never played together before. We won our first conference, uh, beat uh, Shawnee, or Shorty and uh, Jay, beat Adam and Cody. Um, you know, we were playing great. And uh, we ended up finishing, I think he finished first on singles. I finished third. I got beat by Cody by, like, a point, I had him down like 20 to 12 or something stupid. And, you know, that's just kind of how those things go. And um, so it, it feels like we, we've actually accomplished something this year. You know, even though we didn't finish where obviously we wanted to, but, uh, you know, we, we came on strong at the end, and I think uh, we're, we're starting to understand each other. You know what I mean? It, it's almost like right. a freaking bridge. It sounds ridiculous. Everybody out there, don't freaking laugh at me. But I'm telling you, it's, it's almost what it is. It's a relationship, man. You have to have somebody that you're confident in. You have to have confidence in yourself. Um, you know, so that's what it's all about is confidence in each other and yourself. Yeah, and, and you guys, I saw that all season long, whether it was early in the season just, just playing together or even, you know, when we first had that first, um, you know, qualifier event in Rock Hill you guys played together put on a show there and then even wrapping it up at the world championships I mean I got to see you guys compete and you guys uh, although you didn't make the the final four you guys had a really strong performance and it was it was really fun to watch and obviously capping it off with with crew cup was was a ton of fun to watch as well so you know you, you kind of alluded to it if you will you had a really strong season um i think and and rolling over as we look forward to this 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 coming season you know now it's you know people forget that you're one of the veterans you're one of the ogs you were oh. one of the first acl pros you were in that first batch <laughs> and uh and so as you come into your this 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 new season, and, and, and there's a lot of new great players, is there anything that's on your bucket list? Is there anything that's on your mind pressing that's saying, you know, I want to make sure I do this? Whatever that is, 
whether it be singles or doubles or even crew cup again, and anything on the forefront of your mind as we get into this, this next season. Um, listen, I, I think I accomplished quite a bit. Um, there's, I think I asked you this two years ago. I said there was about 4,000 members. And you said, hey, man, don't shortchange yourself. I think there's about 10,000 at this point. I said, oh, crap, I didn't know that. Now, what is it, 50, 60,000 members? Yeah. Okay. As far as as far as players that are within the ACL system right now, we're about sixty thousand. And that to me is just absolutely ridiculous. That is the most amazing thing I've heard in my life. It's so cool. It, it, it just continues to grow, right? So I'm not going to get off off uh, what I was going to tell you, but um, you know, I think I accomplished a lot. And uh, the way I look at things at this point, I want to grow the game, man. I'm here to grow the game. I'm, I, I want to see everybody succeed. You know, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna play you, I, I'm gonna give you my best no matter what. Uh, if you beat me, good for you. If you don't, uh, sorry, man. But I won't be a dick to you. I can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and that's that's my mentality, man. Um, I I really need to um, start getting back to you know a practice routine which it's hard for me to do i start like i told you i started a new job about two years ago and it's it, it's tough i mean i absolutely love it don't get me wrong um it's it's it does really well for me and i really appreciate that but um for the cornhole game it's not the greatest for me <laughs> so um i i just i have to make sure that uh i get my butt out there whether tired cold hot whatever I got to get out there and, and do what I do, man. Hey, do what you do. I love it. That's a great way to put, put it. ACL Pro Crew Cup World Champion, Brandon Corwin. Brandon, uh, thank you so much. It was, it was a pleasure. I always love talking to you, and, and we, can't, we can't make it too long before we do this again sometime. Well, you know I love you, man. I love all <laughs> <laughs> Hey, man, let me give a quick shout-out to uh, Shot Kings, Val, and Ty. I appreciate you. Uh, and my OG sponsor, Mr. Jeff Reynolds, Reynolds Bags. Hey, man, I appreciate everything you do for me. And again, Trey, uh, Stacy, all of you guys, man, you guys are great. And uh, absolutely 100% appreciate everything. No, oh, well, well, thank you, Brandon. We, like I said, you're, you're one of the OGs. We, we, we love you and uh, can't wait to have you for many, many more years to come. ACL Pro, Brandon Corwin. Thanks, Brandon. Thank you. Brandon Corwin, the man is full of energy. And at least he, uh, he wasn't throwing anything like he threw his hat at those world championships. Thank you so much, Brandon, for sitting down with me and chatting. Remember, registration is getting ready to open for non-platinum members for that first open of the year. You can register at app.iplayacl.com. And of course, if you want to become a platinum member, get that early bird registration. You can also do that on the ACL player app or through one of your local or regional directors. So check that out. That's all the time that we got this week for the American Cornhole League. This has been your host, Trey Ryder. We'll see you guys next week.